back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna do a little what I eat in a day. Um, I talked in a couple of videos ago about how I gained a little weight, trying to just, you know, shave off some LBs, especially like summer's coming up. It's February, like mid-February. You know, we're just, it's about that time where we start getting shreddy for summer. So I'm just doing like a little, I'm, I'm trying to not, like cut corners and do things quickly and I'm just trying to go slow be be kind to myself give myself a little grace because you know you, you simply just don't lose like 10 pounds in two weeks so like I said just trying to drop some LBs um that's really all there is to it so I'm just gonna show you all what I'm eating today and I went to the gym hence the wet hair um I just showered and I'm about to eat breakfast. So I don't really eat before the gym unless, like, unless I'm going later in the morning. Like if I'm going any time past like eh, nine-ish, I'll eat. But this morning I just had one of these guys. So this is actually a different one. This is the salted caramel, which the last time you heard me talk about it, I have the caramel brownie. And like they're definitely giving me the same energy but i think i like the salted caramel more like i just like salted caramel uh so i have that before i worked out then i worked out i am also restarting the kylie ross train like an athlete program and it, it's just like probably one of the best programs i've ever followed that consistently helps me burn a lot of calories because my goal is to burn at least 500 calories every time i go to the gym and then if I do that, then I'll be right at the like 500 calorie deficit. And I have like a little wiggle room with that to, you know, if I eat a little bit above my calorie goal, then that's fine. I I'm, I would say I'm tracking, but I'm gonna say loosely tracking because I tend to eat the same things, at least for breakfast and lunch. And I'm trying out this new thing where I plan out my dinners so I have seven dinner or six dinners planned and then I have one like leftover day planned just for you know whatever's just chilling in the fridge so I'm excited about that I grocery shopped and I like actually just grocery shopped for that the stuff that I needed for dinner and it felt good not to buy a bunch of random stuff so for breakfast we're trying something a little new um I got Ezekiel bread uh I don't know. I know. Well, I don't know like how much better it is for you, but I'm trying not to get like wheat bread. I don't even know if Ezekiel bread has wheat in it. I, I think if it does, it at least has like less wheat than wheat bread, because I am allergic to wheat. And I'm trying. I'm trying just a little bit to not eat wheat as much, because my doctor said that I, I just have to try and avoid it. I don't necessarily need to cut it out completely. So. We're gonna try that with some eggs this morning. I mean, I guess it has some wheat in it, but. I don't know. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Oh, there she is. <laughs> what we're up to today okay thank you we're just good we're in the middle of a lot of things right now um it's laundry day as well it's monday monday laundry day well laundry day actually started yesterday and then you know my cat is now in a hamper bread eh, it's okay um I just put this on it and it was okay I mean it's not as good as like white bread but I just finished my little egg the egg was fantastic I I've actually never put um garlic on an egg before 
bon appetit but i'm still feeling a little unf unfulfilled unsatisfied i mean that was like a 200 calorie meal so i'm gonna eat a cheese wedge or actually it wasn't even a 200 calorie meal so let me just <laughs> Yeah, so like, this is with the cheese wedge. This is like what we're working with. This is what we've got going. So I did, you know, one egg, one egg white. I meant to do two egg whites, but I kind of forgot. And I didn't, I have this little spatula that's like perfect for getting the egg white detached from the egg yolk, but it was dirty, so I had to use my hand, which was like pretty disgusting. I wasn't really prepared to do that again. So yeah, these little cheeses, man. They make the world go round. They are so freaking good. I also love them. I love the pepper jack one. Um, there's like this aged white cheddar. Something about it kind of freaks me out, but it's also kind of good. I don't know how to explain it. I do have a final today in like an hour and a half. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's like, I feel like I haven't studied at all, but I feel like I've been studying for weeks. So it's kind of odd because I had a midterm last Wednesday. So I've been studying from Wednesday until today for the did I say final? Midterm? I had a midterm last Wednesday. Never, and that was in the morning. So basically that day I started studying for this midterm. And I've studied every day. Like I've studied Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I, it's just like, I just can't study anymore. But then again, I feel like I haven't studied at all because I haven't been studying just like for hours on end, but I don't know. I think it's because usually I'm used to a more condensed timeline of like studying for a couple of hours for like two or three days. But now I've been studying for like one to three hours for five days and I'm just not used to it. I don't know. I'm just like not in the mood. I don't want to take the test. I don't want to study for the test. I don't want to do anything. So there's to it. Okay, it's about an hour later. I still haven't taken my midterm yet. I have like 30 minutes until it starts. I'm eating like this, this little guy. It's just so good. It's got a little spice. I don't know if I said this already, but I recorded a week in my life. Well, I recorded a college week in my life. Oh my God. I recorded a college week of my life last week, but I just feel like I didn't get any content. I don't know. I haven't tried to edit it yet, but I feel like every day I was talking about the same like issue that I was having last week, and I don't know. As much as I want to like put that issue on blast, I don't. And now I feel weird about it. Like last week, I was rearing to put that issue on the internet and be like. Blah, blah, blah. but now nah, I feel kind of weird about it so I don't know what I want to do because I talked about it a lot in my last video and plus like I don't want the whole video to be me like basically complaining Ugh. I don't know I just feel weird well I just finished my midterm and naturally I'm curious if I took the right test first of all I swear I read somewhere that said um, that we would see our results after the test but now I can't find anywhere that says that, so that's concerning. Um, and also, you know what? I'm just gonna like bring this up. We, uh, so in my econ class, we have these problem sets that we do with our groups. And every single time she's always like, oh, the highest score was a 99%. No one ever gets 100, ever. And she's like, the, the average grade was around an A minus. Why does my group always get like an 83% every single time? It happened last semester too. I think we got one A on the problem set. Um, all I'm saying is when I look, it's never my work that ate. That, that's the problem. I'm just gonna say how it is. Um, my group absolutely sucks and that's really all there is about it. Um, if I could get a new group, I would. Unfortunately, the school does not care about me. It's not care enough to get me a new group. The thing is, is like, it's not even worth it at this point because like next semester or next whatever quarter we're done with groups so it's like what's the point of even trying to switch for the last I don't know two three weeks that we have left it's literally a waste of my time but it's still so annoying it's just annoying that uh, we can never get an A on anything well at least in the econ class 
We get an A on other things. It's just that one class. She's such a hard nitpicky grader. <sighs> frustrated. It's 1 p.m. and I'm frustrated. And now I just want to go sit on the couch. I'm so annoyed with myself because I was so distraught after that test that I completely forgot to record my lunch. So I want to punch myself in the neck pretty much. Um, I had exactly what I said I was going to have, which was the shrimp. Um, I just had it coated in a little bit of cornstarch, like less than a tablespoon. I had it with serving rice and broccoli. And I will display a photo here because I think I took a picture of it yesterday. Or I can just, maybe I can show a photo now. I'm just, right now I'm trying to get organized because I don't even know what to do right now. And you know, my thing is, I'm just like, I cannot find a planner that I like. I just can't. No, no shrimp for me. This is what it looks like. It's literally just shrimp, broccoli, and rice with a mixture of, today I actually did um, sour cream instead of mayonnaise because I get this like light, low fat sour cream so it has like two grams of fat compared to the uh mayonnaise it has like three to four grams of fat and it's like you can have okay so for the sour cream it's like two grams of fat for two tablespoons or the mayonnaise is like three and a half grams of fat for one tablespoon so it's just like all around better so i use sour cream um oh wait i still have all the stuff out because like i'm just like so distraught i use a serving of this which is the sweet chili sauce just a spritz of sriracha, only a spritz because that's all I have, or the spritz is left. And then I just use like, this is like white jasmine rice. I'm literally so disappointed in myself. I just want to apologize, like I hate myself pretty much is what I'm saying. give an update interrupt interrupt this film this video all right so there I am I am sitting at my desk I'm working on my notion um, I think I like it I think I'm, I'm gonna try and use it for at least the rest of this quarter and see how it goes anyway so I get a knock on the door I mean it was like barely a knock it was like a log um but I see this okay wait 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 first I see this box. Okay, if we did, could just ignore the mess, not this, this box. And you know, my birthday was yesterday and my sister said she was sending me something, my mom said she was sending me something. So I was like, I didn't know who it was for, but um, I see, hold on, I'm gonna cover up the address. It says, hold on, wait, focus. Kate Spade. Now, I've been wanting a Kate Spade bag for months. Um, I, I, I've been told I cannot open it until 3.30. It's three o'clock. I'm very excited. Hey. All right, so oh, I'm going to end whatever I have of this video here 
I feel like I'm so off my video game. I just, I have all of this stuff recorded, but none of it is like cohesive or, I, it's like I'll have like one clip from one day and then I'll have a whole long 10 minute talking session. Like yesterday I was gonna do a what I ate in a day and I did show everything that I ate, but it was just like very choppy. Well, I guess I didn't because I didn't show my lunch and then it's like my dinner was just a very short clip and like I didn't really explain it. I don't know what the heck is going on with me. Uh, but dinner last night, I got it from Chopped. It's like this salad place. And I think I think this is recent, I don't know. I've never eaten there before or last night. But I think their bowls are new. So I got the Harvest Bowl. And then I got it without pumpkin seeds. So it had mixed grains. So it was just like quinoa and rice. Um, it had kale, Brussels sprouts, sweet potatoes, chicken. And I got this jalapeno yogurt dressing it was so 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 good i 10 out of 10 recommend and i would definitely eat it again so that's all i had last night and then i went and watched the bachelor so yeah i don't know but i'm gonna end this video off here and we're gonna see what we get with what we've got so thank you so much if you watched until the end like subscribe do all that good stuff i'll see you next time bye